Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show. Guys, thank you for love. Appreciate you were in your channel every day. You have the face to run the place. I cannot do the show without you, guys. Thank you for likes and for shares. Thank you for your comments. And guys, thanks so much for taking time to watch my videos each and every day. You're amazing fans. I cannot do the show without you. Plus, guys, pass back the YouTube channel. Like the content. Like the show. Hit that subscribe button. Become an Assassin today. Guaranteed to all my original Assassin's Man. Remember when we had 20, 30, 40? And we just kept on, we hit the 300 mark, 400 mark. Yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you to all my original assassin men for believing in this show each and every day. Thank you for the comments, everything. To my new assassin men, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for subscribing. You're awesome. One thing about me, man, I always hit, hit up my fans, whatever y'all want to hear from, or you want a video, uh, like a video about the Panthers, Marlins, whatever, y'all let me know. I post it, I do the research, and I give it to y'all. And those who have not subscribed yet, hopefully you could subscribe to the channel. Like I said time and time again, man, it's y'all show, y'all run the place. Nothing is off limits. Whenever y'all want to talk about, comment below, and I'll hit you up. It might make, take a few days or a week, because I want to do the research, and then I give it to y'all. want my opinion. Anyway, but this is y'all show, y'all have a voice. You may my agree to disagree, but this is all about y'all. So, guys. To everybody out there, thank you for believing in this show. You're awesome. Um, you heard me talk about this, man. Champ Zone Fitness, man. Go check them out. If you live in Barrow County area, Cooper City, Davie, Cold Springs, Plantation. Man, they got the best trainers out there, man. I'm telling you. It's just amazing trainers. It's like a family atmosphere. It's one of the best gyms out there. Uh, I think it's the best gym out there. I'm, I mean, I heard from fans who went and they loved it so go check them out if you really really want to lose weight or just want to feel good go check them out man people are enjoying it you will sweat you will lose weight i'm been losing weight i'm getting more muscle mass it's all good man so go check them out so enough that guys you saw that panthers game man amazing game by the panthers day one man what a win great win by the panthers now we got more work to do um three two me going back to Tampa. That's what you want. That's what you want. You want to extend the series. Now it's going to be hard in Tampa, but let's talk about this run first, man. Spencer Knight, man. I make that kid was not shaking. He gave up the first goal, but it was not his fault. It was a breakaway, and I don't care who, who you are. There was going to score in that breakaway. But then all that came, the power play kit, he yeah, was... Solid man, all around. You don't hear him move. He's like a assassin man. He just move side to side. He just like an assassin man. And it was Spencer Knight mania out there, man. And the the um, the fans cheering. He got the number one star of the game, man. Just amazing character. This kid, the kid was smiling the whole game. He, he was nervous, but it's that nervousness, cockiness that he had inside. And like he said, it's hockey. You just playing hockey, man. You just playing hockey. Now I know, I know the question is go, cool, but why, Q, Joe Crindle didn't play him, Coach Q didn't play him. Well, you, you know what? He's twenty years old, and you got Bobby and you got Chris Grieger, and those are your should be your best goaltenders. Not a tw twenty year old kid coming from college should be a best, but he played with poise, um, and he just played. Now, I think. You, you get him a second start. He's 5-0 as a starter. The kid is just great back there. Um, he doesn't give up too many goals back there. And you better, if he gives up a goal, it's, you just beat him. Fair, like, you know, it's, it's a breakaway or a power play. But if he just doesn't give up goals on 5-5, five five, it's just amazing. But the team played. At the that first period, the team just came together and just played. And you could see it. And the power Play came for the Panthers. They got to get a little bit better in the power play, I think. Um, great power um, kill today, and, and they stay out of the box. Now, I got an issue with the Tampa Bay coach. You say, we are dirty, we play with the funny business, whatever, but you just put Maroon out there, that asshole out there, saying who um, he, you chicken, and you just put him just to go after Achari. That's your whole game plan, to go after our guys. That's fine. We just whooped your ass, so that's fine. You want to go after people and all that, and that's fine. But we just whooped you. And I just, I was screaming, 
It's great for uh, Spurs tonight. And listen, the future for the Panthers is bright. You could see Tippett it was a first rounder, and you see he's developing. You got guys who's gonna develop, and 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 I'm telling you, uh, pa Panthers are gonna be a force in the NHL, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun seeing the Panthers. Listen, it's gonna be fun seeing the Marlins, Panthers, um, the Dolphins, because the futures are bright for the, these teams. But going back to the Panthers, you see. You see, they care for each other. They had a team meeting, basically, and air out some things, and they cover for guys. Now, Yandel, a lot of mistakes he makes. I don't know if I put him in there, but um, but again, he they they took point out of the picture. If you take point out of the picture, you got you got a formula to win, and you saw it. You saw two or three guys, and you saw them breaking up the passes, the passing lanes. Not that. Not a lot of clean. After the first period, the second and third period, then they, the Tampa Bay Lightning didn't have a lot of shots on goal. You saw that. And then Spencer Knight just did his thing. I mean, the kid is incredible. 36 save and just kept on saving time and time again, man. It's just one of those things. And then, and I like how he handles the puck. He handles it when he is there. He goes back there. He knows what to do with the puck. He's not nervous and, and he keeps on. So to me, that's that's interesting what they're doing. Spencer Knight is going to be a bright, bright future for this team. And I know it's not the offseason. I, I, I don't want to say too much on the offseason because I know the question is going to say it by Bobby. What, what you think they should do? It's, listen, Bobby got a big contract, so you know they're not going to get rid of Bobby. Now, can he be the backup to Spencer Knight? Probably so. Or maybe he takes a pay cut or something. But um, but I, I'll touch that on the offseason. But right now, we got to enjoy it. Listen, it's not the offseason yet. I hope it's not for a while. So now we got a game on on Wednesday that we have to win. So listen, the, the Panthers came out focused and, and won. And you know Tampa Bay won in this game. We just knocked them out because they want rest. Listen, Tampa Bay wants rest. And the longer it goes, I'm telling you, the longer it goes, it favor, favors the Panthers. And why I say that? Because you could tell, you could tell that Tampa Bay does not want to play physical. You don't see them really hitting us like the first two, three games, or even the fourth game. You saw them lead back because they don't want to play physical anymore with the Panthers. Because they, they know you can't bully the Panthers around. You can't push them around. So you see them holding back. It's not like they're taking us out. They they holding back because they, they want to end this game. And to get healthy because they know the Predators got a long series ahead of them. And, you know, and now they can't get that rest. Now they got one more time. So it's going to be amazing what what um, what the Panthers could extend. And, and if the Panthers could extend the series to seven games, watch out. It's going to be mayhem and the Panthers. And let me tell you something. Our fans is the greatest fans in the world. The, the noise that the fans brought today, it was amazing. The energy was electric from beginning to end. It was electric. So great, great win. Listen, Spencer Knight might be the secret weapon, man. The secret weapon to us, man. So let, listen, put him back in there. What the worst could happen? You put him there, he's getting experience. And that's the best way a young player will learn. You you put him back there, learning experience. Any experience, and that's how you get experience. So now he got five games under his belt, one game of playoffs. So now he, he's undefeated. So keep on playing them, see what happens. And it's just going to be amazing. So to me, uh, I won't go back to Chris Greer or Bobby. I just keep on playing Spencer out there and, and see what happens. And if they move on, and let's say we go to game seven, same thing. If they move on to game, to the next round, you do the same thing until he show you otherwise. But just one of those things, uh, I'm really proud of the Panthers. Great, great run. What a hustle. Spencer, man, Spencer Knight, man, amazing guy. Amazing energy, 20 years old, and the future, the future looks bright for that kid and the Panthers organization. Great draft. And Zito is just a great, a, a 
man, a great GM so far, man. All the moves he made. Now, I think we got to get better here and there, but I, t uh, I leave that to the offseason. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, go Panthers. Let's get it. Let's get game game six and, and bring it back to my, to my, to Sunrise, to South Florida. So, thank you guys. God bless. See you later.